Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from No Way 721. Free TV. Let me know if anyone has a free TV, 55 inch plus, that I can take for personal use, preferably with 4K with Dolby Vision, preferably in South Bay so I can arrange for pickup. They say they want to arrange for pickup, but I have a feeling if all of those requirements were met, they would still want it delivered because, well, if you're in the same area, then you can deliver it to them. Choosing beggar logic. This next one is by Gemini Genu. Doesn't recommend Wendy's. Today Wendy's had their free breakfast item. Their own rules say one per customer. My husband took our children there for breakfast. They refused to give him more than two free sandwiches, even though there were seven of them, and all were present. They had been looking forward to a Wendy's breakfast sandwich for days. Super discouraging that they are discriminating towards large families. Don't advertise free things if you refuse to give them out. Not child friendly. I'm sure if you actually read whatever you got that promotion through and saw the fine print, you would see that it probably stated that there was in fact a limit on what or how many free items you could get. This next one is from Let's Draw Lob Stars. Hey, in exchange of advertisement, would you be able to make one of my fiance? I have Instagram with 49,000 followers. I'm pretty sure they won't do that because 1. They have to source the pop which costs them money, 2. Invest the time to make it look how you want it to look, and then 3. Pay postage to ship it. All that for an advertisement? I don't think you're gonna get that. This next one is by Conan Angel. Looking for cleaning crew? I had someone come out to give me an estimate. Yes, my house is on the bigger side, but expecting $40 an hour cash is just asinine. I was told $600 for the first time, huh? And then $350 every other week. No thank you. I think what upsets me is that I have no problem paying $20 an hour cash, also known as tax free, which I think is totally fair for someone to clean and that is still not enough. I am a very honest and reasonable person. Please, if there is anyone out there that is looking for work and is rational, logical, and like-minded, send them my way. I am easy to work with, not picky. Just don't feel like being ripped off. Thank you. Look, if you're already bragging that your house is on the bigger side, then clearly, if you want somebody else to clean it for you, you should pay the rate. A lot of people are not going to work for pennies. To be your butler or your maid. If you're not happy with that, clean your house yourself. This next one is by Breeze Mommy 88 Hello, my fellow photographers. I have a friend who is looking for someone to shoot his wedding, but it's in Buffalo, April 16, 2022. I'm booked, so I can't do it, but he offered to pay $10 an hour for 8 hours, $80 total, of photos. He's looking for someone professional with great quality. Comment or inbox. I mean, $10 an hour to shoot a wedding, chances are there's going to be a lot of photos that are taken at that wedding, not to mention the time after to go through, sort, pick the best of the best, present them. I, I think $80 is way too low. This next one is from Lead Sky. $5 toaster. Is in good condition? The toaster is good. There's some burnt crumbs stuck at the bottom, but it works fine. Originally, probably $30. Four? Four? What do you mean? Four dollars. Sorry, I'm not lowering the price from five dollars to four dollars. I mean, considering they're shopping for a used toaster, I'd say $5 is pretty good, but they want to be picky, so they can have fun probably spending more elsewhere. This next one is by Delta Gamma Speed. What's the tape on the side? <laughs> That's the cosmetic damage. <laughs> Small tear. Oh, so I need to repair that so I can use it comfortably? I can pick it up tonight. I'll pick it up if you pay 3,000 yen. Because what if I can't use it? It will be a trash on me. I just have to borrow a friend's car to pick up. I will pay his gasoline too. <laughs> <laughs> 
it does not need to be repaired, it's cosmetic, and it's a 20k chair. Why would I pay someone to take away a free chair? Goodbye. I swear these are the beggars I'll never understand. They can get a free item, they just have to do a little bit of work to pick it up, and yet this one wants this person to pay them. <laughs> wow. This next one is from Captain Emmy. So I just want to do a post and address this issue. If you're asking for free items, obviously that's okay. It's a free group kind of thing. But try to make an effort first to find a way to pick up the items or meet the people to get the items. Please do not just ask for something free and then ask somebody to deliver it. Also, they're already doing enough giving it free. If somebody offers, that is one thing, but please try to make an effort to get the items on your own first before asking them to deliver things on top of giving it to you for free. Thank you everyone. 100 100 100 couldn't agree more. And it's funny because I keep talking about this too and it's a real thing, if people are giving something away free, they shouldn't have to do extra work to get that free item to you. This next one is by Throwaway P90X. Beta access denied! Sadly, I have no other choice but to give this game a mere one star, purely because the developers never invited me to help during the beta period despite me having filled out a form and everything for it. I do not appreciate such behavior in the slightest and am very much disappointed in the way the developers decided to handle the beta. Well, usually from my understanding with betas, it's a limited amount of people that get included into that, and sometimes you have to pay for a key to get into the beta. So maybe you didn't read everything, or maybe you put all your eggs in one basket. Either way, you're still disappointed, and it's not their problem. This next one is from The Soft Machine. Upcoming tour dates, Foghat Official, on tour now. Only a private show in Michigan? Really? What about the rest of us? You used to be one of my favorites, but I see what you think of us here now. Time to find another favorite and forget about you. What the fuck, Michelle? This was before the tour started and nothing was safe out there. Get over yourself, please. We are doing our best and still booking shows. Smile. Life is too short to be pissed off about stuff like this. The fact that they came back and handled that so professionally, kudos to them. And to Michelle, have fun finding another favorite because clearly you're not the loyal type. This next one is by Athena's Desire. Do you have your own spot, car, and job? Sorry for the interrogation. <laughs> I'm just not into dating losers. I'm sure you can understand. I definitely understand and absolutely. I bought a house a while back. My dad helped me out a lot. But yeah, I have a house, I have a full-time job, and two cars. <laughs> one for strictly work, one for pleasure. Sounds like you got it going for you. <laughs> hmm, thanks, love. So, how about you? How about me what? Car, crib, job. Why would I need one? That's why I'm looking for a man to take care of me and my kids. Men are providers. Didn't your mom ever teach you? I live with my mom. I get child support and no car yet. Problem? It kind of is. Why should somebody have to come in and automatically take care of your kids and provide for you? It just seems like you made a lot of bad decisions and you're looking for someone to clean up the mess. I think to have any real chance, you're also going to have to pull your own weight a little bit too. This next one is from Trunkleton. Can someone gift me a Mecha Morty skin? I don't think anybody's gonna gift you one, but you can definitely gift it to yourself by paying however much it costs to obtain the Mecha Morty skin. And our final one is by Kotikfo. One of my neighbors and friend was telling me this story and I thought it belongs here. I will make it short. One of our neighbors posted that they have a mattress they want to give away ASAP as they are moving out at the end of the day and weren't able to sell that yet. The mattress looks good in the pictures. A ton of people asked to be considered for it, but there was this pregnant lady, we will call her PL, who said that they needed it the most as their mother is coming to help with the delivery and to provide care, but they don't have a mattress for her yet and can't afford one. 
The catch was that she didn't have a big enough car and also moved out of the neighborhood a week back to a new place 20 miles away. She requested if someone can help deliver it to her new address on Saturday, a day after the pickup day. Long story short, my friend who is a very generous neighbor volunteered to help the lady out. He went for a pickup on Friday when the donor, seller, wanted it gone. This was a few blocks from his house. After he checked the mattress, he asked pregnant lady, the receiver, if they are sure they want the mattress as it is not in great condition. Pregnant lady mentioned that they have seen it in the pictures and okay to receive it. So my friend picked it up on Friday evening and went to deliver it to the pregnant lady. 40 miles return trip. After he removed the mattress from his pickup truck, the lady was like, This is not what she saw in the picture and the mattress is not something she can keep inside her house due to some drink spots in the mattress. And wants my friend to take it back to the owner which was not possible as the giver already told them that they are moving to a different place on Friday. Considering all this, the pregnant lady offers my friend a few bucks for gas money, which he took as he had an extra mattress to dump. In the end, he posted it on our neighborhood group with real pictures and asked if anyone wanted to take it. In the end, he ended up going to the garbage dump and also took a little stuff from the neighbor and contributed to cover the dumping fee. I asked him what he could have done differently to avoid this situation, and he said he could ask the receiver to come check the mattress in person before he picked it up. Who was the choosing beggar here? The choosing beggar is still the pregnant lady. She wanted a free item, wanted somebody to deliver it to her, and then, upon delivery, said that she didn't want it anymore. Honestly, if I was just your friend, what I would have done was just leave the mattress there. It would be her problem at that point, whether she offered to give a few bucks or not, because at that point it should be her problem, not your friends. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.